Hello guys, what is up? This is Galactic Ellie welcoming you guys to the MPA Season 4. Long have we waited, and now we're not debated because we're out here with the nice little team. And we are out here with a Halucha that we actually picked up in exchange for Bisharp. I had to pick it up, I was dropped after the draft, and we had to go ahead and snag it. And uh, our team is looking quite nice today, guys. We have Tapakoko, Roserade, Halucha, Ariados, Meluetta, and we got Mega Garchomp coming to your guys' way today. And uh, I am going against my man Leo, aka Six Foot Hacks. So please go ahead and check out my man Six Foot Hacks, aka Leo. He is an amazing guy, amazing friend of mine, and a very, very great battler. Um, we're honored to have him part of the MPA, and uh, this season, I'm actually the uh, ass assistant commissioner for the MPA. So it's pretty awesome to be part of this. And uh, third season now for the MPA. Um, I've been to the playoffs one time, the first time that I came, you know, in the MPA, we were close to making the, you know, playoffs, but it didn't really come out the way we wanted it to, so, you know, it's all good. But, you know, last season we got through, we, get, we battled John, a very, very good battler, and we ended up falling short, but you know what, we, we tried our best, and uh, this season we're going to try even harder. So, Leo has an incredibly tough team, I actually spent so much time building against him, so his team consists of Manaphy, Slurpuff, Rotom Moe, Garboder, Mega Gallade, and Hydreigon, as well as Tyrantrum, Pyroar, Hypno, Mamoswine, and Steelix. Now, very much I can very much see him not bringing Hydreigon and bringing Tyrantrum instead, I can very much see him bringing Steelix for the Roar, in case he, uh, you know, is fearing a uh, Halucha setup. I can also see him possibly bringing Mamoswine, just because it's a hits like a truck. But uh, the six that I predicted to bring are Manaphy, Slurpuff, Furnamo, Garboder, Mega Gallade, and Hydreigon. And uh, let's just jump into it, guys. Uh, either way, I also want to mention, we do got Chicago Cup 2 plushies on sale still. So if you guys are interested, they are still around. They are limited time only. So make sure you pick one up before they go out of stock. And also, we do always have the shirts available. They are custom made. You got the nice little name and number on the back. I don't really want to turn around all the way to show you guys. So, you know, just trust my judgment. Check the link in the description down below for all of that. And without further ado, guys, let's get right into this nice little battle. I am very nervous. Uh, first match, and we're coming against Leo, one of the top battlers uh, in the draft league format, man. He is a very underrated battler, and let's see what he has. So, he does bring Hypno. He does bring Steelix. He does bring Mammo. So, that means he has no Mana Feet and no Slurpuff, which are huge. However, uh, Hypno actually is a tough opponent. We literally did not think he would bring it. We memed, we memed about him possibly bringing it, but we didn't think he would actually... We didn't think he actually would. So, um... Wow, that's actually going to be really annoying because this thing is a special wall. And, um, yeah, he does also bring Mouse on and Steel. Like I said, he probably would. He does not bring Hydreigon nor Tyrantrum, which is very surprising he didn't bring one or the other. But I can also see the limited, uh, you know, how they can be also limited to uh, what they can do. So, uh, I'm not too surprised, but the same as that time, I'm kind of surprised. So, Rotom Mo, Garboder, he brings a very fat team. A very, very fat team. Like, insanely fat. Um, and then bringing, uh, you know, the surroundings being Mellow Swine, uh, Mega Gallade. And, um, you know, I could see, I could see Steelix being a bulky offensive. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm actually really scared, guys. Uh, I didn't think, I, I got the team prep pretty wrong. Uh, I, I prepped for a lot of different mons, and it's gonna be very tough. Um, his only defogger on his team is Rotom. I can definitely see, uh, de defog Rotom, but, uh, yeah. Either way, um, I think I'm gonna end up leading... <sighs> I was, like, what I thought about leading off with was, uh, at first, Roserade. I think I'm still going to lead off with Roserade, though. And let's just get this show on the road. Yeah, this, sh th this show on the road. I cannot speak. I am so freaking nervous. But either way, let's get right into it, guys, and, uh, see what's going to happen against my man, Leo Dan. My man. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's see what he, who he's going to lead off with. I think he's probably going to lead off with, uh, Garboder. To get off, you know, some big blows, some spikes, and whatnot. Spikes are going to be really annoying. Um, he goes with Malhado. V. I uh, wrote him, actually. Okay, so uh, that's not a bad lead at all for us, having the Roserade. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Roserade, by the way. I love this thing. It's so freaking gorgeous. Uh, we're going to lead off with that. And uh, honestly, speaking, whenever I look at his team, um, the only thing that really wants to come in on this thing is the Garboder. So, um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go straight for the sludge bomb. I know it's obvious, but hey, man, he may, uh, he may, he may overpredict. He may try to do something else, and I'm just gonna go straight for the sludge bomb and see what he wants to do. He's gonna go right into Garboder, though. Obvious, which is obvious. He doesn't even. Ooh, he's gonna go to Hypno, actually. Okay, so he goes into Hypno. All right, that's cool. Forewarn. 
I have energy ball. That's that. Okay, cool. Um, so now he knows I have energy ball. And uh, that thing pretty much takes it like a champ and a half. Um, pretty much does like maybe like 16%. <laughs> that pretty much did absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm going to try to see if what kind of set this uh, Hypno may be. But uh, that kind of does lock down my um, Ariados from coming in. Or wanting to come in. Um, it just seems like he's very... Uh, actually, no. Um, that, that thing looks like it's almost AV in a way. I feel like that's an AV... Uh, what do you really bring in? Assault Vest? Hypno. Yeah, that is Assault Vest Hypno, I think. That is insane. That is insane. This man brought a, a, a freaking Hypno with Assault Vest. That's crazy. Okay, so he is limited to four attacks. Uh, this thing gets counter, I believe. Yeah, it's, it gets counter. And... Um... Does he have, uh... Mirror Coat? No, I think he only gets counter. Alright. Uh, I don't know what this thing wants to do. Honestly, uh, it's a very, uh, it's a, I, I've never ever gone against a Hypno in my life, so, um, very interesting mod to go against. Kind of shuts me down, honestly. I really was not expecting Hypno. I really was not expecting Hypno. I don't, I don't really know what this thing likes to do, if I'm being honest. I can very much, uh, I, I, I can very much see him bringing, um, I, I can't stay in, man, I cannot stay in. I... <laughs> This thing is uh, throwing me for a nice little loop. I'm going to go right into my Meloetta in the last second. I, I don't know what I really want to do against this thing. I am very rusty with battling, guys, so I uh, just want to put it out there. I haven't battled in a while. He goes with the foul play, so he does have the foul play. Okay. So that's going to do a big chunk of damage. Um, Unfortunately. Wow. Okay, so we can tell this thing is uh, it's going to be annoying to deal with, honestly. Okay, so we know he's assault vest hypno. Wow, that's crazy. Assault vest. I mean, maybe it's not crazy. Maybe, I mean, maybe I'm just. I maybe I'm. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> um. Foul play is a three eight KO. Unfortunately, I don't really want to trade off Meloetta with hypno. I really do not. Now, how much would you do against my guard chop without it being mega yet? Because my attack won't be off, uh, you know, my, my attack won't be crazy high until I mega evolve. Foul play still does a decent amount. Um, once I mega evolve, I should be able to do a lot to him, though. And this foul play will actually not do that much more once I mega evolve. If these cocks are uh, true. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet. I, I don't want my Meloetta taking any more damage than it needs to. He's trying to see what he wants to do. Um, maybe he's uh, maybe he's fearing... He's probably trying to look up what Meloetta does. I'm just going to put out a nice little double. I really don't know what, what I want to do this thing. I really don't. It's really unfortunate. He goes with the Seismic Toss. Okay. So does Seismic Toss do more than Foul Play would? I actually don't think so. Okay, nice, nice little rough skin. That's cool. And I'm going to Mega Evolve. And I'm going to go uh, straight for a Dragon Claw, actually. What, do you, what does he want to go into? I think he probably... Nah. I'm going to go straight for the Dragon Claw over here. We're going to see what he wants to do. I don't think he really wants to stay in because this is a special wall. He does not want to get, let this thing take too much damage, I don't think. And we're going to get this thing to Mega Evolve, which is kind of a clux. Uh, it kind of like, it, it kind of sucks for us because this thing, Mega Evolving, actually makes it slower. But we are going to get some major defenses uh, boosted up. And uh, we're going to see what we can really do. Uh, us Mega Evolving really doesn't make his foul play any stronger than it normally would be. It probably does like two damage more. So, or two more damage. My language is bad. I am shaking, dude. Shaking. Um, but we're gonna see what he wants to do over here, and, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go straight for the Dragon Claw, and he's more than likely gonna want to go into his, uh, Rotom, if I'm being honest. I don't think he has any other switch in that he wants to bring this thing on, unless he wants to go into his Mammo and then f scare me out with, like, a, you know, Ice School Crash or something. I can only, uh, see him bringing Mammo with, uh, Choice Scarf. He goes right back into Mahato, which his, his, uh, Rotom. That's cool with me. I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve, and we're gonna go straight for that Dragon Claw. 
I do have poison jab on this thing, so he may double out trying to uh, scout what I may do. I can very much see him doing that. Unless he is like... Unless he has a lot of speed, which there's no way he can outspeed me actually, unless he's scarfed. So we see that being a 2-8 KO, we actually don't even have to go for the poison jab. We see this thing being uh, not defensive at all, uh, the Rotom at least. This Rotom is uh, not bulky whatsoever, so I can very much see him being an nice little uh, scarf Rotom. Possibly being, uh, possibly being Willow. I'm going to go ahead and see how much I did. That did about 52%, and typically that does a little bit more. Uh, I, th I could see this thing being uh, max HP more than likely. Now, would he bring Scarf Willow? That's the question. Because there's no way this thing can outspeed me. I am, uh, I'm actually one point faster. Though, if he is Scarf Willow, then that really sucks. That would put me in a terrible position. I'm not sure if he's just completely sacking this thing or unless he has Choice Scarf Willow Wisp. Part of me just kind of wants to... Here, I'm just... We're not going to overpredict. I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw. If he has Scarf Willow, then that, you know, that kind of shows what he is, at the very least. So we're just going to go straight for the Dragon Claw over here. Um, I sure probably went for the Poison Jab to Oko, like, to completely uh, kill him, because maybe it's a roll. I don't really know what his investment is, unfortunately. I should have probably gone for the uh, for the Poison Jab. I already clicked my move. There's no way I can really go back. If he's max HP, then I kill him no matter what. He is going to double out. He's probably going to go to his Garboder. He's going to go to Samoa Joe. That is the Mammal Swine. Okay. So he probably predicted me to pull a double. We're going to go. We're gonna get a nice little Dragon Claw. That's going to do a ton. That's a critical hit. So sorry for that crit. Um, That sucks. Now, how much does uh, Ice Shard from this range do to me? Good thing we didn't go for the Poison Jab. I'm, I'm happy we didn't. <laughs> that would have really sucked if we did. Because that would have done literally nothing. Uh, Ice Shard from this range kills us no matter what. So... Unfortunate. Uh, he may go for Rocks over here. <sighs> Man, I am, a, I am a bag of nerves. Um... Yeah, this thing just absolutely destroys... This thing can destroy two guard trumps at once. Even if it's Mega. So how much does he do against, let's say, Ariados? Because our Ariados is pretty bulky. Unfortunately, um... We don't really take hits too well with Ariados. But if he goes for Ice Shard, we can take... Uh, we can take it pretty well. If he puts up rocks, this is the perfect time to bring it in, honestly. And the, like I said, the only way he can take uh, webs away is with his Rotom. That's the only way he can get rid of webs. Webs will be huge. I'm going to go ahead and make a very fierce double, um, risking the biscuit over here. We are focused sass. So if he goes for rocks over here, that's perfect. He's going to go for life shard. Okay, that's fine. He goes from 177 to... Oh, 117. He is life orb. Ooh, that's tough. Ooh, that is tough. Um, is he adamant? That did 34%. He's adamant. Adamant Life Orb. He is adamant Life Orb. Meaning that Earthquake can kill us from this range. Unfortunately. If we had Sucker Punch, then that would be amazing. Unfortunately, we do not have Sucker Punch. Um, webs are huge against something like Mega Gallade. Mega Gallade really doesn't have much use uh, after that. <sighs> now, you could predict me to go for the Shadow Snake over here. But maybe he may just want to sack this thing off in case I have rocks on something. Or spikes. I think he may just sack this thing off because he's life orb and he's not scarfed. I really wish we brought priority because we did not bring priority, man. We did not bring priority. Um, though we do have we do have um, guard chomp around. I think he may want to. I think he. Yeah, I have really no reason to go out anything. I don't want anything to take an earthquake. 
I'm just gonna go straight for the uh, sticky web, honestly. I'm gonna go straight for the sticky web over here. He does withdraw. Okay, perfect. So he predicted me to have the priority. He's gonna go to wander over here, um, which is the Steelix. That is uh, completely cool with me. We're gonna go for the sticky web over here, which is nice. Uh, gonna make everything uh, slow on his team. Um. Okay, good. So he thought that we would have the priority. He wanted to keep it around. He wanted to keep that priority around the Aisha priority around for Garchomp. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's fine. Um, now over here comes Steelix. Probably gonna go for the rocks, or probably just gonna go straight for like some sort of kill. Um, I do not know. I did not like how we started, but we are bringing this back quite decently. Now, um, I think he's gonna go for the rocks more than like most, unless he has Stone Edge. The Stone Edge shouldn't be able to kill us anyways. I do have lunge in this thing. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use Lunge to bring down his attack in case he goes for an attacking move. We already built out speed because this thing slows turd. You're going to see if he's Rocky Helmet. He's not Rocky Helmet. We bring it down his attack. He's toxic. Okay, cool. So he brings me a switch out. That's fine. He has leftovers. Cool. So Hypno is foul play. Mouse Mind was Ice Shard with Life Orb. Cool. And then Steelix... Is leftovers toxic? Okay, we have now. You guys are probably wondering why did you not have priority? It's because we brought nightshade in case priority wanted to do shit for us. Um, I'm gonna go straight for the nightshade over here. It's probably not gonna do much, but honestly, um, with uh, him being minus one, he did, can't really do much to us. I'm just gonna go for the nightshade. He's probably gonna go for the rocks over here, or maybe he's gonna use something like heavy slam or so much if he has it. He's gonna go for earthquake. Okay, earthquake shouldn't do a lot. We're we're really bulky. We are bulky spider. We are a bulky spider. Cool. So, um, awesome. Um, I don't know how bulky this Steelix is. Um, I do want to kind of bring in Garchomp, but Garchomp shouldn't be able to kill him from this range. This thing is really, really um, physically bulky. I would imagine. <clears throat> so I'm going to look up Garchomp and see how much we can do with it. Um, we already are we already are Mega Evolved, so we should be able to hit, take hits very well if he wants to throw another Earthquake at us. He's minus one. Okay, so if he's minus one, we are not really taking anything. And uh, Earthquake should be able to do a lot of damage against him. I wouldn't be able to kill him, though. I'm going to just stay in and use Nightshade again. Or should I just go for lunch and then earth and then go for night shoot? I'm gonna go for lunch over here in case he switches out. He's gonna go for protect. So he's trying to scout what you want to do. Okay, so he has protect, toxic, and earthquake. Earthquake. Protect. So he probably has roar as his last move. I don't think he has anything else. Cool. That's fine with me. I'm just gonna go for another lunch. He may take this opportunity to go. Actually, he really doesn't have anything to switch in. He has nothing to switch in. He want, he's gonna stay. He's gonna stay in with this thing, for sure. He has literally nothing to switch in. Rotomo dies. Uh, Garbodor. He has Garbodor to bring in. Actually, he has Garbodor actually to bring in. So if he wants to bring in Garbodor, that's fine. That's fine with me if he wants to bring in Garbodor. This is actually his perfect opportunity to bring in Garbodor because he can set up his spikes. So that's what I think he's probably gonna do. Either way, I'm waiting for lunch. That way, gunk shot. If he has it, he's not really gonna do a lot of damage at all. Unfortunately, I have Toxic Threat on my Aridos. I didn't really, um, I wasn't really able to use it due to the fact that, uh, you know, he has a Steel type in front of me right now. But basically, Toxic Threat is a move that only Aridos and uh, Smeargle can learn. Obviously, Smeargle can learn pretty much anything except for Dark Void. And Aridos, um, you know, was given this move, I think, in Gen 7, like Sun and Moon. Nobody really knew about it. It's a move that poisons the opponent and then also brings their uh, speed down by one. So it's a poison type move, obviously. And I brought it in case of things like uh, Slurp Puff or Man if you want to come in for free. And if, in case I didn't have my sticky webs up yet, I could uh, go for the uh, I can go for the Toxic Thread, and that would have been really really nice. But hey, man, that's fine. If, we, if we're not able to show it off, you know, maybe in the future we may be able to. Either way, Wander is uh, out here. This nice little big chode, which is a complete oxymoron. Um, Leo's really uh, thinking about his move. He's gonna stay in. We're gonna go for another lunch. And uh, we're going to just bring down his attack, steady and steady. Uh, we got the crit, doesn't matter, and he's probably just going to go for the Earthquake again, which is going to do 
Bada boom, bada bing, nothing. Cool, that does basically nothing at, like, basically, literally nothing. Um, he's probably just gonna go for Predict again. I'm just gonna continuously, uh, should I just use Lunge again or should I just go for the Nightshade? He's probably just gonna Protect. I'm gonna go for the Nightshade. I'm gonna go for the Nightshade and see what he wants to do. And Kate, maybe I should just go for Lunge again because, like I said, nothing wants to come in on the uh, Lunge at all. He's gonna go for the Protect. I think I'm just going to spam lunge because if he kills me, he kills me, it's fine. And if he uh, switches out, then somebody's going to go minus one and take a big hit because lunge does it hard. And if he ends up killing me, then I go into Mega Garchomp for free. I do want to have, uh, I, I do want this thing to have um, a little less HP though. But that's fine. He's just going to go for another Earthquake. We should be able to take like two more unless he gets over here. Okay, maybe just one more. Well, if I lunge again, then he won't be able to kill me next turn. I'm just going to go for another lunge. He's probably going to think I'm going to go for Nightshade. I'm just going to continuously lunge. Because if I go for Nightshade on a turn that he goes into something else. And he goes into, let's say, like, Garboder for free. That would really suck. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh... I'm just going to go ahead and lunge again. He's probably going to go in Garboder right now. Or he's probably going to use Earthquake one more time and then go into Garboder. Thinking that he just can just put up uh, Spikes for free. He does have Dream Punch, and he does have other moves. So he goes for Protect again. He's just trying to see what I want to do. Continuously launch. He's trapped. He can't really do much about anything. He's forced to kill me, and he's forced to pretty much let this thing go down to, like, you know, like, stupid amounts of speed. I don't want Aridos to die for no reason, but I don't really want to just change, uh... I mean, technically, I could just, uh, switch out next turn. I could just switch out next turn, honestly. Because this thing has so little attack that it's like just pitiful. He has an absolutely very he has, he has so he has so little attack right now, but he does have toxic, which sucks. I don't really want to fuck with toxic, honestly. He's gonna open an earthquake. Yeah, so this shouldn't be able to kill me unless he crits, which I'd be fine if he crits, honestly. One HP, not even bad. Um, cool. I'm just letting this thing kill me. Or should I just, uh, I mean, what I can always do is I can always go out into my, um, I can always go out into my Meloetta over here. And power out some Hyper Voices. But then he just, but then he, he just brings in Hypno for free at that point. So, there's really no point of that. I'm gonna go into my Gorgon right over here. There's really no, there's really no reason not to. He's gonna protect. There's there, there no point. I'm gonna go into Garchomp after Aridos dies anyway, so I might as well just keep Aridos for fodder. I might as well. He's gonna for protect. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. At this point, I have, I have no reason not to just click Earthquake. I have no reason not to just click Earthquake over here. So I'm just gonna click Earthquake. If he wants to stay and go for Toxic, that's completely fine with me. It sucks that I'm gonna get Toxic, but you know, it's all good. And he, there's a possibility that he can miss it. I'm not saying he, I want him to miss it because that sucks if he misses a 10% less accurate move. But happens to me all the time. It, it can happen. It can happen. He's probably going to have to protect over here to scan a plus get as much HP back as possible. I think he should go for the protect over here. Unless he, you know, forgot that, you know, it didn't it didn't work because I switched. But uh, he, he should go for protect over here. There's really no reason not to. There's literally no reason for him not to go for protect over here. Unless he... Doesn't really care about the little HP unless he doesn't really care about seeing uh, what I may do. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna click Earthquake every single time. Then nonetheless, um, even if he goes into Rotom, I can just uh, Poison Jab next turn. So yeah, that's that's a star play every single time. Earthquake, Earthquake, Earthquake until he brings in something that can't take it. We do have the beautiful webs up now. If we get rid of Rotom, then they're up for good. He's trying to see what he wants to do over here. He is thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, good. He didn't. I, I was checking if he messaged me or whatever. He's going to switch out into Rotom. Cool. He's going to go to the Samoa Joe, which is actually the Mammo. So he's going to sack the Mammo. He's going to sack the Mammo because it's, you know, it's pretty much dead now. That's fine. Cool. So, Mega Garchomp takes the first kill of the season. Mega Garchomp kills Mammo Swine, which basically lets uh, this thing, Underwebs, do whatever the hell it wants. 
He's probably gonna go to Hypno over here. He's gonna go to Ric Flair. Which is the Glade. Okay. Glade can have Ice Punch, I think, right? I'm gonna check that right now. Yeah, I can have Ice Punch. Ice Punch should be able to kill me from this range. The same system, I don't really want this thing to get a free... I don't want the, I, do, I do not want this thing to get a free sword stance up. That would suck. Yeah, if he has ice punch, that just kills me. Earthquake does a shitload though. I think I just go for the earthquake over here. Uh, if you use this ice punch, I die. But uh, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it because I, honestly, um, if I can get a big hit on this thing, that'd be really nice. Do I, do I really wanna? Do I really wanna get? I don't know if I really wanna get rid of this thing. If he goes for the SD, I like. I, I really am put in a really bad position because then he's at full HP SD. Can I Oko anything after he's SD'd up? That's the question. No, nothing can really Oko him. Nothing can, nothing can Oko him. Not even Coco. Yeah, Coco actually does less than Meloetta. I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake, I'm gonna stay in. Some people may be uh, going crazy right now, like, Elliot, what the fuck, man, what are you doing? But uh, I, I need to. Um, I need to get a lot of damage off on this thing. He can overpredict, he can go for the close combat, he can go for something else. I think he's just gonna go for the Ice Punch, though. He has literally no reason to overpredict or anything like that, so I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake over here. Possibility to create, who knows? I'm not hoping for it, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. And, um, okay, so we see this thing has some HP investment. He's gonna go for the bulk up. He's gonna go for this. He's gonna straight up go for the bulk up. That's why I didn't switch out. I didn't want him to get a free, um, I didn't want him to get a free setup. Where's an Earthquake again? That should be able to kill him, unless we uh, get, like, an extremely low roll, because that did, like, 70%. After one bulk up, we should be able to do 50%. Should still be able to kill him off. We're gonna just go for another Earthquake that should be able to just kill him. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not, I'm not over predicting or anything like that. I'm just going to go with my gut, and that's what we're going to improve on this season. We're going to kill off that Mega Glade. Mega Garchomp putting in the finest of work. Kills Mega Glade. I'm not going to get too excited right now. I am not. There's really no reason to go out of my seats to go crazy, because there's still a lot of the battle underway. He goes into Hypno over here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on staying in. That's what we're going to do. He's going to go for the Forewarn. We're going to see what we have. He says that we have Earthquake. He already knows we have Earthquake. Uh, Earthquake should be able to do a lot of damage against him. I'm just going to stay in. The best thing he could probably do is foul play me. Unless he has some sort of ice move. I really don't know. Maybe he has Ice Punch. Either way, I'm just going to go ahead and Earthquake hit again. This is the best thing I can uh, keep in to kill him. And that is maybe a crit. That's not a crit. Kills him off. Mega Guard Chomp. Kills Hypno. Every single kill so far has been by Mega Guard Chomp. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing's a monster. <laughs> He's gonna go to Mahado, which is the Rotom. I'm gonna go straight for the poison jab over here. If he is not Scarf, then we outspeed him. If he is not out, if he's not Scarf, we outspeed him. We're gonna go for the poison jab. Kill this thing, Goth. That was four kills for Mega Guard Chomp, ladies and gentlemen. Four kills. Mega Guard Chomp kills Rotom. Mo. He's gonna go into Wanderer, the Steelix. We are out here, ladies and gentlemen. Mega Guard Chomp's a freaking monster. Gonna just go for another Earthquake over here. There's no reason not to. Just gonna go ahead and destroy this thing in two hits because it's focused on the physical side. He's gonna probably go for the Toxic. Maybe go for the Roar if he has it. He's probably gonna go for the Roar if he has it. He's gonna go for the Earthquake. Doesn't even go for the Toxic. He's like, fuck it, dude. And we're able to take that like a champ and a half. And I'm just going to continue to click Earthquake, man. It's Earthquake is not out here, boys. And uh, we're just going to Earthquake our way to victory at this point. Does not seem like he has much of anything else to do. Mega Guard Shop kills Steelix. And I think at this point, we may just be able to get a 6-0. I'm not going to, you know, if we don't, it's fine. If we, if we, we, I don't really care too much about the differential. It's the first game of the season. But last but not least, he has Garboder left up in the match. If he's uh, really bulky, he could take, uh, take an Earthquake. 
But can this thing kill me in one shot? That's the question. Can this thing kill me in one shot? I don't think it can. Does this thing have aftermath that can maybe fuck up my 6-0? Probably. Will I switch up because of it? Hell no. I'm just gonna stay in. If I'm gonna bring this thing on a guard boater, then I'm stupid. If he wants to stay, if if he if he wants to, you know, if if I want to stay in, I'm just gonna stay in. We're just gonna continuously go for earthquake. Even if he's physically bulky, this is still a roll to kill. I'm I'm feeling he's probably especially bulky, so this should be able to just kill him off. If he lives, it's probably gonna be with uh, about five percent of HP. And this thing is dead. We conceal the 6-0 victory on our first game of the season, guys, against six foot hacks with mega. Guard chop. Now we did look with one HP on our Ariados, but we got the 6-0 sweep, guys. Uh, I didn't think this is how the battle was gonna go. I prepped with my front office for such a long time in this match. This is probably the most scared I've ever been for an opponent. I battled Leo before, and he is an amazing opponent. Uh, I don't want any of you guys to go ahead and uh, talk trash about him or anything like that. I want you guys to give none other but respect to this man. He is an amazing battle, like I said before. And I'm very surprised that I did end up getting a 6-0, but please show him some love, guys. Um, he was uh, a bit upset that I ended up actually getting Halucha, and it was a villain for the uh, first game of the season. I would assume that he probably over for the Halucha, uh, the Halucha Tapakoko set, um, which was possibly how, uh, which is probably why he played the way he did. But Omega Guard Shop and Webs, man, is ridiculous, and we ended up taking advantage of his very Webs weak team, not having anything that wants to take on a um, webs with Mega Guard Chomp. So, yeah. Uh, I do want to say I apologize for any sort of hacks that may have happened. I don't think it really impacted anything about this match, though. I think we had a very uh, nice game, and uh, sure, uh, the he probably may have uh, played a little bit differently with his Mail Sign had I not crit him on that uh, Dragon Claw, but I don't think it really made much of a difference either way. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. My name is Glad to go. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe if you're new, of course. And be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the team. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? I remember, merchandise is available in the description down below. I'll see you guys later on, week two. I believe we're going to go against Jodor. So, let's see how that goes. I'll catch you guys later on. Peace out.